Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just found out we can be trained to be a Jedi. But uh, the main problem is we have to remember a couple things, um, namely the precepts of the Jedi Code. And then we continue on from there, learning things uh, that are pertinent to us being a Jedi. Now, because I'm a super duper giant nerd who has played the Old Republic multiple times, because that's what I do, I'm a Star Wars nerd, um, before my computers decided they didn't want to play it anymore, uh, I already know both the precepts of the Jedi Code and the Sith Code. So, as it stands, I already know what to do. So, just gotta talk to uh, Lestin again, and we can continue on. Greetings, my young pupil. Yes. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? A absolutely. I am ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Sounds first, good. You must prove okay. yourself worthy in the traditions of and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. That's a lot. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Okay. I'm ready for the tests, Master Zah. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Okay. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, Good. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. Mm -hmm. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You Fair must enough. now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There All is right. no emotion. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is no passion. I believe it was there is serenity. There is no chaos. There is no chaos. There is... I believe it was the force. That is not correct. What? There is no shame Fuck. in admitting weakness. What did I screw up? What did I screw up? Okay. I'm a cheatsy doodle here, because I'm pretty sure that was correct. I feel cheated. I feel very cheated. I'm going to double check. I was doing so well until that last one. Oh. Oh, I skipped ahead a line. That's where I fucked up. Okay. Greetings, my young pupil. Yes, 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 yes. Soon your apprentice I know, I know. I'm ready for the tests. Hurt. This time I'm not going to fuck it up because I uh, cheatsy doodled. There is no emotion. There is. Right, there is no emotion. There is peace, yes. There is. No ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. chaos. There is harmony. There it is. There is no death. There is no death. There is only the force. You have learned your studies well. Apprentice. There we go. I'd skipped a handle before line. You are That's what I goofed order. up. But first, you must pass the second test and mm -hmm. learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. Yes. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It very is a strong of a weapon. Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. They the can blade be, yes. is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. Mm -hmm. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. Mm -hmm. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Yep. And that's where I'm going to be a little annoyed, because the... You have to choose which 
uh, path you're going down um, when you get to the next class, which is for the Jedi, you have to choose Guardian, uh, Sentinel, and Counselor. Counselors are more uh, Force-oriented. Guardians are more Melee-oriented. But we were going to go with Sentinel because I like my... I like my all about roundedness, split down the middle, sort of jack of all trades, master of none, but better than a master of one. That's how I always play these games. Because it gives me a lot of versatile ways to go about different things. Unfortunately, the color lightsaber that I would prefer is under Consular. I get yellow under Sentinel. I will have to sit there and grin and bear it until I get the green crystal. So, fuck. <laughs> Anyhow, I will continue on. We have to talk to Master Dorak, who is over here. Yep. Ah, you have come, young apprentice. Yes, I have. Master Zar's bidding. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's great promise in you. As do I. Thank you. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Yeah, I know. Even though in the movies, no one really got that choice all that much. Um, except for Samuel L. Jackson, Mace Windu, uh, who decided he wanted a purple lightsaber and... George Lucas was like, okay, we can work with that. And uh, then the colors started to become uh, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Varied in the EU uh, before the uh, swap over to Disney's ownership of the franchise kind of just shat all over that. Uh, as it stands for right now, I don't know... I don't honestly follow Star Wars via Disney all that closely as I should, but as far as I'm aware, they haven't really dictated uh, specific colors for specific um, roles all too much. But who knows? I could be wrong. Anyhow, uh, what positions are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. Mm -hmm. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Mm -hmm. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice uh, bringing ferret. to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Yeah, Green all around. Green is the really. color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. And not really combat at all. Uh, I want to be the Sentinel. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. Oh, God, these questions. A woman and her questions. small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs, uh -huh. menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? What do I do? Um... Stop the thugs and find out why they are attacking her. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. Mm -hmm. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? What do I do? Um. Hmm. Uh, try to see a weakness in his technique. Uh. Kind of? Um, if anything, it's, uh, hmm, try to, yeah, try to see a weakness in this technique. Yes, I suspected as much. Okay. Now, for the next question. There is I'm, a are you sure you suspect as much? And your goal lies on the other side. Okay. What do you do? Um, try to pick the lock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. Okay. I have a feeling about what you would be best at, but first... The final question. All right. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. All right. The dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. Okay. What do you do? Um. 
coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. That would be, uh, that'd probably be the easiest for you, but would, you know, take a while. Luring them into a trap would probably be the quickest way, but then you'd have to try and, uh, no, try and make sure you have ample strength enough to hold them. And then hunting them down is just, like, straight to the point. Deal with it. Um, well, I would go with try to lure them out into a trap. Yes, I thought as much. Do as you? I suspected, you would okay. be suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and yep. path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Uh, since I wanted Sentinel in the first place, even though the color is not right... Uh, we'll go with yellow, the path of the Jedi Sentinel. And that was what he felt. So Here is out. a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Yay! Now I can make my own lightsaber. And now the level ups begin! <laughs> okay. Oh, the explosion of power at my fingertips I will have. <laughs> okay, so. Um... Injury, repair, uh, do I really need to? Not really. Um, it is a class skill still. That's good. Um, demolitions is now a class skill. What? Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that too much. Um, just work on computer use. Uh, bring that up at least a little bit. And then I'll work on repair? No, no. You know what? It's easier just to spread it around this way. There we go. And then I'll slowly bring computer use up. Yeah, that'll work. Sure, why not? Feats. Weapon proficiency, lightsaber, and Jedi defense. Alright, cool. Um... Where do I go from there? I've got implant level two. That's the good stuff. Um, I can go to advanced Jedi defense. Um, but do I want to? That one is force sensitive. Okay. It's a unique ability for the main character Jedi. All right. Uh, let's go to improved flurry. Why not? Yeah, why not? I need to upgrade it anyhow. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. Uh, absolutely going to add cure. Absolutely going to do that. Um, and affect mind. Of course I'm going to affect mind. Why wouldn't I? All right. And... I still have more levels to do. And that one. Actually, do it all there. I'll pick up treat injury later. Cool. That'll work. Powers. Um, some of these are restricted by armor. I'm going to go with some of them that don't require uh, me wearing lighter armor yet at least not yet until i have lighter armor to put on i'm not gonna go for that yet there we go another level up nice uh let's up that to there and then i'll eventually go to intelligence so i can get more points skills um there we go. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it into Persuade. There we go. I don't have enough shit. All right. That'll work. Feats. Where do I put it? I do not want heavy armor because there's no point in it. Um, I don't... No, I probably should put it in the Master 2 Weapon Fighting so that way I, I eliminate 
all penalties of using two weapons. Which is probably a good idea. It's absolutely a good idea. Who am I kidding? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Powers. And let's put that one into droids. There we go. Good. And that's it. That's all. All right. And I do not have a lightsaber in my hands yet, but I will soon. All right. Za Master Za Lestin. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Yay. And we construct it over there. Where we construct everything. It <laughs> doesn't even look like I'm doing anything of the sort. All right, cool. And here's where I'd put uh, upgrading crystals if I had them, which I do not. Uh, at least upgrading power crystals. This would be the color crystal. All right. Properties can vary with the type of focusing crystal used in construction. Traditionally associated with the Jedi, the lightsaber is a devastating weapon difficult to master. And now I have one. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so cool when I have two of them. But, oops, wrong button. For now, the only option I have is a uh, vibro sword or vibro blade, technically. That one has a lot more damage I can get out of it and a higher attack modifier. So I should probably use it for now until I get another lightsaber. But. <laughs> okay. Enough of me goofing off. Talk to Master Zar one more time. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Thank you. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. Yeah, I hope so. After all the waving around it. The first time one constructs their lightsaber. Is it? These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. Ah. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have yep. even been unconfirmed rumors of certain force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. That would be good to uh, follow up on. Uh, I can find these crystals on Dantooine? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But okay. you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Uh -huh. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. And the attentions of dangerous enemies. Uh, of the course. Sith and dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face that. the final challenge, apprentice? I guess I have to, yeah. I'm ready to face the third trial. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. Mm -hmm. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Okay. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. Really? The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. All right. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. Mm -hmm. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. So you're going to have me go do that as part of my training. Okay. Uh, what's causing this corruption? The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Okay. So it's not just dealing with the Cath Hounds. It is dealing with what is causing them to go crazy. Okay. I can do that. Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. Okay. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember so I'm this, my young all by myself here. A Jedi okay. acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. 
Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. Not all who are lost to the dark side are lost forever. Which is fair. Just fair enough. Oop, ba -da. Yeah, the training computer seems to be in all caps. I mean, the font for most of it is in all caps anyway. But it seems to be in super caps here. You notice? Like, the difference in the height between the other letters and Zalbar's, uh, you know, big Z, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, and then the rest of them being all the same height here. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Uh, I don't want to bash the computer. Uh, ac uh, accessing user recognition, user identity confirmed, beginning training orientation. Welcome, Farron Khan. As one recently accepted for training here at the Academy, it is important you fully understand the many paths now available to you as a servant of the light. Oh, so it's a... Oh, this shows me the statistics of what I get out of what level. Okay. What each level gives me, essentially. Okay. Sentinel gives me the even split of uh, 8 vitality, 6 force points. Consular is 6 vitality, 8 force points, which is more towards force, like I said earlier. And Guardian is 10 vitality, 4 force points, which... Again, goes more to combat than, like I said earlier. So, that at least tells you all that stuff. I'm not going to bash the thing because that'd be stupid to do that in front of the Master Jar. And uh, out we head, I guess. Although first, I guess we should talk to that lady now that we are actually Greetings, an apprentice. apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Well, thank you. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Mm -hmm. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. Nice. How are you enjoying your training? Uh, it's... <laughs> I want to learn to use a force, not listen to your philosophical babbling. Uh, that's... I'm looking to alter my lightsaber, and I heard about some caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. Mm -hmm. But be warned, Apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your Fair training, enough. Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Well, thank you. At least you gave me some, uh, some insight into where I should go. Fair enough. And, uh... Who should I talk to now? Uh, cleanse the meditation grove to the southeast of the dark taint that is... Of the dark taint that has been infesting it. Exact nature of the cause of the taint has not been made clear. So, where to find out why? <clears throat> and my throat is to stop being a shit ass. Come on, let me talk. Alright. It's working a little bit now. I guess I gotta head out, but uh, first let's see this area because I know for a fact this has the merchants that I can talk to. Uh, Kratos Yurko, you must be the one I've been hearing about, the new recruit, as it were. Farron Khan, I think they said. Another fresh-faced apprentice ready to leap into Jedi training with both feet. Well, best of luck to you is all I can say about that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Kratos Yurko, proprietor of the general store here on Tantooine. Not much to look at now, I'll admit, but I'm on the, I'm in on the ground floor. Uh, I mean, look at this planet. Majestic fields, rolling plains, wide open terra firma. Elbow room, I didn't get that. Once word gets out, we'll have settlers and tourists from the Galactic Court just dying to get here. And guess who they'll be waiting for them? Not that blasted Zerka Corp, that's for sure. Not this time, no sir. This time it'll be Kratos Yurko who makes the big bucks. But listen to me. You didn't come here to listen to my ramblings on the evils of the Zerka Corp, I'll bet. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you have against Zerka Corporation? Don't get me started on Zerka Corp. 
They've got a monopoly on half the galaxy already, and they do everything they can to keep anyone else from getting a foothold in their territory. Extortion, bribing officials, and government diplomats. Not to mention driving up prices on essentials like food and water on distant colonies. I've heard stories of them letting people starve to death because they couldn't afford their jacked up prices. And since they've thrown themselves in with the Sith, things have only gotten worse. Wait, they're allied with the Sith. The Sith are tangled up in an expensive war with the Republic. They need supplies, equipment, resources. That's, there's lots of opportunities for a company with no morals like Zerka Corp to make some major profits. Malak has given them exclusive trading rights whenever the Sith have control. Or rather, trading rights. My bad. It's bad enough they're helping to finance a Sith war effort, but I've heard rumors of even worse stuff. Slaving, pillaging planets of their resources, genocide of indigenous species. The Sith and Zerka Corp seem like a perfect match to me. Ah, listen to me go on. Okay. Uh, I'll see what you have for sale. Excellent. As always, my selection is somewhat limited. Zerka Corp has a monopoly on some of the suppliers. But I'm sure you'll find all my inventories of the highest quality. I've got a few special items you won't find anywhere else. Sounds good. Oh, awesome. I can get infinite med packs. Always nice. And some stuff I already have. Battle armor is heavy, which I don't need. A light battle armor. I don't need that. Sanaski, Sanasakis? Sanasakis. I'm assuming. Uh, ooh. It's a high damage plus... Uh, it's a high physical damage plus damage to droid. Attack modifier plus two. And that's before getting upgrades in there. Yeesh. That's something else. Sanasaki used this weapon to kill N Nelenik? Yeah, Nelenik. Zabrak, who assassinated the Ichani High Protector with battle droids. Cortosis protects the blade against lightsaber sparring damage, while energy cells disrupt droid opponents. Whoa. That's a, that's a powerful blade right there, and I nearly, nearly have enough credits. But not quite. Not quite. Interface banned. Um, am I? I'm pretty sure I'm wearing something like that already, aren't I? Something like that. Uh, computer use, security, and dexterity for the infiltrator gloves. Again, something I'm very close to being able to buy, but I wouldn't spend it on that. Uh, CNS strength enhancer. Ooh. Experimental system that amplifies power signals along the length of the central nervous system. This generator, attached to a belt, provides great greater impulses to all muscles as well as a resistance to all sorts of per perturbations of the user's system. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, right? Perturbations? Perturbations. Perturbations, yes. I had to think about perturb for a second. Perturbations, yes. That's probably correct. That's a hell of a word. A retinal combat implant. Uh, immunity to critical hits would be nice. Plus, additional awareness would be kind of cool, too. Alright, and Pazak cards. Uh, of course. The thing I'm not going to play. Uh, not sure, honestly, what I would really go for. Should I have more credits? You are Karal Kar. I greet you, Apprentice Jedi. Master Zar has informed me that your training is progressing most rapidly. I'm honored to have such a promising pupil in my shop. How may I serve you? Uh, let me see what you have in stock. Explore my inventory at your convenience. Settler families have purchased all my droids, but I have many upgrades and other wares for purchase. Alright, sounds good. Oh, you have droid stuff. You have high level light plating for droids uh this would be class three though um this requires only class two this one only requires class one wow heavy plating is fucking powerful when it comes to defense plus nine yeesh originally used on starship hulls durasteel is the best protection available for droids yeah, i'd say holy shit this particular variant of the alloy is the standard for mass production heavy combat droids. 
fuck. I mean, if I had an unlimited amount of money, maybe. But I don't. <laughs> I don't have that at all. Jeez, though. Jeez. That is something. All right, so... I think it's about time to head on out. I think I've already talked to you. Um, yeah, let's head out. I think it's this way. I think. Yes, it's this way. I recognize this now. Oh, I'm yawning. My apologies. It's getting a little late. Yay! Means I can go out and explore the outside. Cool. Now we're outside and we don't have to hear that uh, chime of level up anymore. Because I have done all my leveling up. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Oh boy. Hey, Mission, what's up? Hey there. Can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? I wanted to talk to you about your brother. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. Mm -hmm. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. A little? <laughs> Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Uh -huh. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace. Yeah. We got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Okay. Griff would be a real smooth talker. Weird pronunciation. It wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena uh, okay. was used to dating rich Theresian nobles. Guys with mountains of credits. Uh -huh. could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Um, you mean no matter how much he stole? Uh, did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. Uh huh. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Right. Maybe she actually liked Griff. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty credit busty. cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After busty cantina her, rat. Okay. Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena mm -hmm. were going to try and make their fortune off world. Okay. He as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. How is this Lena's fault? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll um, never see Griff again. The part of the reason I you really think that could happen? Find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Okay. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not really. Uh, thank you for that. Okay. Have you good. have a weird Onichan complex there. Uh, mission. It's very, very odd. Fairly odd. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. We went a little over time and a little over my time, but it's fine. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Uh, Finally learning how to be a Jedi after screwing up the first test because I could have sworn I was right, but I skipped ahead a line mentally and that was my fault. It's been a while. Uh, it's been like three years since I played any sort of Star Wars thing. So yeah, it's been a while. And uh, been even longer since I had to recant the fucking code <laughs> for you.